This is the state of hockey, where the sport is a passionate pastime. The Wild! Filled with heartwarming stories of inspiration. The only thing you're thinking about is saving your child's life. Back in front, they score! And of joy. Hill Murray has won it! Of determination. I can care less if I can walk, as long as I can skate again. And of love for the game and the people who play it. The men and women, the girls and boys. What do we do when that puck's in front of our net? Get the heck out of there. Get the heck out of there. The young and the young at heart. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready for one more shot. Now, Total Hockey presents a season-long celebration of the sport that's in our blood and the game that's a way of life. A series of half-hour programs highlighting all that's good in the state of hockey. This week on the State of Hockey, how the Wilds all-star defenseman Ryan Suter got his start. Part two of our coaches roundtable with former pros who are teaching the game at Minnesota high schools. It took me 34 years to learn what I did. You hope you can give them all this information and you almost have to take a look at it as though we're dropping seeds. And the story of Patrick Schoonover, a young man who's saving lives by tragically losing his own. If this were available prior to Patrick passing away, he'd be alive. The State of Hockey, presented by Total Hockey, starts now on Fox Sports North. Hi everyone, I'm Audra Martin. Welcome to the State of Hockey, presented by Total Hockey. We're here at Hayes Park Arena in Apple Valley, home ice to the Eastview Hockey Association. Just over a year ago, the association lost one of its own when sudden cardiac arrest claimed the life of teenager Patrick Schoonover. Schoonover was an impressive young man on a path to play varsity hockey at Eastview High School, and his passing is a tragedy mourned still today. But his family is keeping his memory alive, and from this terrible event has come a positive. Marnie Gellner has the story. Patrick was a 14-year-old boy that was becoming quite a young man. He was a great friend, he was a great teammate, he was a great kid. He had a little bit of mischief in him. He had a great sense of humor. He had a wonderful laugh. <laughs> he definitely had a unique laugh. I can still hear it whenever I see a picture of him. He was taller than me. He was very broad. He was very strong. And whenever he would give people hugs, he would give them a big bear hug. When I think of Patrick, I automatically think of his laugh and his smile. <laughs> he was kind of like a gentle giant almost. Um, he loved to make people laugh. He loved to make people smile. Hey, little cutie pie. Okay, I'll let you let go. Let you go. Okay, you take little steps. When I think about Patrick, I think he was a bigger kid size-wise, but he was just a gentle soul. He was very sweet, and he thought a lot about others. He loved to make people laugh. You love to make me laugh. Yeah. At five foot nine, 180 pounds, Patrick Schoonover was big for his age and athletic. Last fall, he accomplished an important goal when he made the Bantam Double A team in the Eastview Hockey Association. On November 14th, 2014, Patrick, his parents, and his younger brother Matthew headed north to Brainerd for a family outing at the team's first tournament. We had some good laughs. It was a nice road trip. And when we got to the uh, hotel, we had just a few minutes, but the boys hung out together and did their little antics that they do running around hotels. We went to the game. We dropped them off at the ice arena and wished them luck, told them to work hard and have fun. That's our motto that we live by, especially when it comes to hockey. I remember him grabbing his bag and wished him luck and told him we loved him and off he went and that was the last that we had talked with him. Patrick ended up scoring the game's first goal. He had a great shot. He ended up scoring from the point and he was so happy. In a short life, you know, you want kids to achieve more than that, but considering the circumstances, that was a, um, that was a big moment for him. We have a great picture of the five of them skating off the ice. And then it was his next shift that he came out and was carrying the puck and was getting away from one little guy who was chasing his tail and then he collided with another one, another guy. And he went down. Patrick had suffered a ruptured aorta in his heart. We just thought he was knocked out. As it turns out, it wasn't the case. He had sudden cardiac arrest. 
When we went to the hospital, the medical staff worked on him some more and, and just said that uh, he didn't make it. In the painful days, weeks, and months that followed, the hockey community weighed in. He was a great hockey player. Two days after Patrick passed away, Matthew's 12th birthday was celebrated at a hockey rink where some 500 supporters showed up for a scrimmage. We had a scrimmage scheduled on November 16th last year, and I had just sent a little message out to some friends to maybe wish Matthew a happy birthday. And We asked him what he wanted to do, and he said to Mike, he said, Dad, if, if you go, I'll go. And so it was decided that we were all going to go. It was a nice day. It was great. You know, the community is amazing. We have awesome friends. and. So, yeah, it was a good day. There's some really great people in this world, and we're very fortunate to have some very good friends. And there's a lot of really nice people that we don't even know that made life a little easier for us. In Patrick's memory, the Schoonover family started the Play for Patrick Foundation with a mission to save lives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to your heart, OK? Patrick's heart condition was unknown, in part because the testing procedures that would have found it aren't included in a physical to play youth athletics. Now, with the financial support of generous donors and hockey associations across the state, his foundation offers free screenings where young athletes receive EKG and echo tests along with instruction in CPR. So you can start compressions again? If this were available prior to Patrick passing away and he was detected as having an issue and he had to stop playing hockey. That would have been a very difficult decision for our family to make and something that would be very hard for him to overcome, I'm sure. However, he'd be alive. When Patrick was here, he looked out for his teammates, he looked out for his classmates, and he looked out for his friends. Patrick's not with us physically, but he's doing the same thing. <laughs> like the joy of Patrick's laugh, the pain of his passing will stay with the Schoonover family forever. But the young man has left quite a legacy. Let's Play Hockey in the Minnesota Wild have created the Patrick Schoonover Award, now given annually to the Minnesota Pee Wee or Bantam player who best exemplifies Patrick's ideals. And the Play for Patrick Foundation is sure to be a lifesaver in the years to come. I keep thinking Patrick is very proud of what we're doing. I know he is, and he's a huge part of this. He's giving us the strength to do it because it's not always easy. But I know he knows that we do nothing less, you know? Nice to meet you. We can't change what happened. We just want to make a difference on Patrick's behalf and utilize the energy that Patrick created with his passing and his short life to something positive. On January 16th, free screenings will be offered at the Apple Valley Community Center in conjunction with the Play for Patrick Bantam Tournament. It's open to kids ages 14 to 18, and medical and non-medical volunteers are needed. You can learn more and register at www.playforpatrick.org. Still ahead with the holidays upon us, gift ideas to put your season on ice. The State of Hockey, presented by Total Hockey, will continue on Fox Sports North.